Today is the first day of Hispanic Heritage Month. As the 2024 presidential race heats up, candidates from both sides of the aisle will be fighting for the crucial Hispanic vote. That's a big block there. One woman on the front lines of that battle is Julie Chavez Rodriguez. She is the 2024 campaign manager for the Biden-Harris ticket, and she's also the granddaughter of late civil rights icon Cesar Chavez. And she joins us from Chicago. Good to see you and welcome. Well, good to see you all as well. Thank you so much for having me. It's really great to be here today and happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Of course, it is Hispanic Heritage Month. And, and speaking of that, as a woman of color and being in your position, what does it mean to you and your community? Well, you know, we have such an important story to tell right now as part of the Biden-Harris campaign. We know that we have been working hard to improve the lives of Latinos, of um, American families. And so we're really going to be able to get out there and to share that story with the American people and with our voters. And as a Latina, being able to lead this campaign, I couldn't be more honored and proud um, to be able to bring so much of my own personal history and lived experience into the outreach that we're going to do to voters to make sure that they know the um, impact that this administration has had and that we can turn them out come November 2024. The Latino voting bloc is large and it is significant. Biden lost the Hispanic vote in South Florida in the last presidential election. What do you think needs to happen in order to get those voters to come out to vote? Well, you know, it's really important that we um, reach out to voters early. It's why, in fact, today um, we just recently launched another ad that's targeted specifically at the Latino community. Um, it's an ad that is actually in Spanglish and really speaks to so many of our young Latino voters who, you know, their experience has been um, one that is bicultural, it's bilingual. And so really finding ways of being able to reach the community. Um, we also have ads that are going out um, directly in Spanish um, and going out to, you know, new audiences. Um, we're up on ESPN Deportes. I'm so excited to share with you all. Um, and finding new ways of being able to reach um, Latinos and Latino voters really where they are um, and finding you know, new ways of communicating with them. Because we know, again, we have a really important and powerful story to tell. All right, let's talk numbers if we can. There's no clear leader in a hypothetical matchup. According to the latest Quinnipiac poll, uh, President Biden leads former President Trump by just one percentage point, 47 percent to 46 percent. As campaign manager, what's your strategy knowing this could be an extremely tight race come 2024? Yeah, well, we've always known that this will be a tight race, and that's why, um, you know, we are out and communicating with our voters early. Um, we know that it's important for us to make sure that they understand not just what President Biden and Vice President Harris have done for them, but also really understand what's at stake in this election as we continue to see just an overly extreme agenda coming from um, MAGA Republicans and so many of those that were on the debate stage last month and we know will be on the debate stage again later this month. Um, the kind of agenda that they have really is an agenda that's outdated, um, that voters have rejected, um, you know, in the last several elections, and one that we know they will continue to reject because it's so extreme and out of touch with what voters care about and what it is that they want to improve their daily lives, including our Latino voters. The campaign has some personal challenges, though, that has to overcome. There are some major concerns about President Biden's age. This week, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy ordered an impeachment inquiry into President Biden over his family's business dealings. Also, Hunter Biden was indicted on felony gun charges yesterday. Are you concerned how this is all going to affect the campaign? You know, our campaign is going to remain very focused on our strategy uh, to continue to reach out. Um, to our voters to ignite our base of support. Um, we know that, you know, President Biden and Vice President Harris have garnered uh, so much support over uh, the last several years, given the important agenda and policies that they've put forward. And so we're going to continue to focus on what really matters to the American people. That's lowering costs. It's addressing, um, you know, the uh, high cost of prescription drugs and helping to lower those. It's making sure that our Latino families have affordable health care, um, that their small businesses have the ability to grow and to succeed. In fact, over the last couple of years, we've seen a huge resurgence in our small business community, especially among Latino small business owners with 10.5 
a million small businesses being started and a quarter of those being Latino small businesses. So we're going to continue to focus on the issues that matter most and what we know is most important, not just to our community, but really to our country, to this economy. And those are the things that we're going to stay focused on um, and not get distracted but we, by what we know have been failed attempts time and time again um, to discount the president or to try to disregard the incredible accomplishments that we've um, been able to, to put forward. We have to talk about your grandfather. I know President Biden has a bust of your grandfather in the Oval Office. How has his legacy shaped your life? Well, you know, uh, he has shaped my life in so many ways. I think growing up and seeing someone who was committed to a cause that was bigger than himself, um, someone who was hardworking and uh, believed in just the power of people to come together um, to improve their own lives. All of that has shaped um, who I am and, um, you know, the work that I get to do today. Um, it's no, you know, accident that I have the opportunity to be able to bring together a massive coalition of voters um, from all different walks of life in the same ways that my grandfather did many years ago um, to make sure that we're moving our country forward and that we're improving conditions for working families and for working people across this country. And so I couldn't be more proud um, to be able to stand on his shoulders and to have learned um, up close and personal from such an amazing you know, mentor and real hero of mine. And I think it's safe to say that your grandfather will be proud of you as well. All right, Biden Harris, 2024 campaign manager, Julie Chavez Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it and good luck to you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.